The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 218. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on. She is a Chinese and Japanese teacher, and she's also the founder of World Harmony Society, which is a nonprofit organization. So I'm really excited to have her on and share her story. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Shan Ju Lin. Shan Ju, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Oh, hi. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. I'm Shina. Okay. I, I, I'm a Taiwanese. I'm, I migrated from Taiwan to Australia in 1991. And here I am. Um, I also found, I'm also the founder of a World Harmony Society. And we run festivals, you know, Harmony Day Festival and Children's Festival to promote um, multiculturalism, which is, um, you know, to promote intercultural understanding. Uh, so to create harmony for our society. And I also a voluntary um, journalist and website editor. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Shanju, what would be your favorite self confidence quote? Uh, never afraid to try new things. I love that because, you know, there's so many women out there who are like, they're too scared to try something new because they're, they fear the unknown or they feel, they feel like, they might fail at something, but you'll never know unless you try, right? So exactly. So I really love that quote, and thanks for sharing that. And mm-hmm. you know, in your own words, how do you define self confidence? I think you need to know what you are doing. You know, everything you do, you need to know what you are doing. You set up your value as a goal and follow it. Experience can also be helpful in building your self confidence, as well as acknowledgement and recognition from others problem-solving skills are also very important. That is a great definition. I always believe, you know, the experiences you have in life does build, you know, your self-confidence up, especially, you know, when we go through bad times. You know, there's things we can't control, but it's how we react to them that really is important. Um, When we can realize that we can still get up after we fall down, you know, that's how we start building more and more confidence. So love that definition. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? You know, I stress quite easily because I didn't know how to use my research skill to engage in the problem-solving process. Back in those days, we didn't have the internet or Google to consult with. I can relate to that. Yeah. You know, like in school, we had those big mm-hmm. encyclopedias. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? and, yes. And, and it's like you have to go through all these books just to like research something, right? Or go to the library. So, you know, I can yeah. totally relate with that. But, you know, what was that aha moment in your life when you realized you could, you know, be able to build that confidence and be able to have that, you know, problem solving process? It's been through experiences, you know, you you don't know until you actually do it. So when you are doing something, you are developing your skills at the same time. So if you are afraid of doing things, then you will never be able to do it. So when I do things, I want to, I want it to be successful and I follow the, I follow a goal, you know, I want to do well. You need to set up for time, giving yourself a plenty of a time and don't do things at the last minute. Get yourself ready early. The first time when I was attending an English course with my young son who was one and a half year old at that time, I was a single parent in a new country and I was going to TAF to learn English. I had arrived in Australia with just enough English skill to be able to survive but not enough to be able to attend university. So my marriage had only lasted for five months, and it was only the second day after deciding to get divorced from my husband that I discovered that I was pregnant. So there was no way that I would abort this baby, and he was he has since grown up to be a very fine young man. To study, I would have to put my son to sleep and then start my study every night, about 9.30 p.m. and work through to 2 a.m. It also took me a longer time of study each day 
due to my、uh, levels of English when compared to a native speaker. I know I need a job to be able to afford my son's education in in a new country. So I knew that I need a good qualification so that I could、uh, get a good job. My son was.、Uh, Still a baby, but I was thinking many years ahead to his future. Others my age would go out and have fun, but I knew to concentrate on what was important. I was fortunate that I also had financial and emotional support from my family in Taiwan. I think it would have been so much harder if I was to do this completely completely on my own. Having a baby doesn't destroy your dreams. He merely becomes part of the dream and the absolute joy of your heart. He's an international music performer. When he isn't studying in New York, and I have to look up a website to find out which country and which city he is in and what his schedule is. I also have his photo on the screen of my phone, so I can, you know, so I.、Uh, I make sure he's in my side every day. <laughs> awesome, and I love that story. You know, it's great that you know you use your son to become better. You know, I know there's so many、yeah. people out there who feel like you know they can't do the, they can't do it because they have kids, and you know you used it as a as a reason to fuel your goals. And and you know now he's an mu- international music performer, which is amazing. Congrats to that. And you know because of this, what's your life been like now? Uh, when I、um, graduated from university, I suddenly re- re- realized I can do it. And then I went to do a master of teaching so that I could teach. I'm a teacher at a various school in Brisbane, both high school and primary schools. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Shenzhou, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? Just be brave. Brave enough to try anything. You need to do it before you know you can do it. When you are facing any difficulty, be calm and don't be too nervous. Anything can be solved, and I believe there is always someone there to help you, or even a government system you can get help from. When I found I was pregnant, my husband asked me to get an abortion because we were getting divorced. But there was no way that I would do. So. I would do it. I just know that I have to keep the baby. My husband's family was a Christian, so I was shocked that、uh, other family members were also asking for this as well. But for me, there was never a decision decision like that to be made. If you discover that you are pregnant, you can definitely make it. There are always people there who are happy to help you. That's those are great tips, you know, and thanks for sharing that. And you know, it is a shock that you know, even though your ex husband's family was Christian, they told you to abort the baby. And I think it's、yeah. also because, you know, Chinese culture or Taiwanese culture is like they don't want that kind of shame sometimes in that family. So、yeah. it's like the mix of two, right? <laughs>、um, yeah. But I'm glad you kept the baby, and you know, I mean, look where your son is now. You know he's doing so well, and I'm sure you're proud of him. Like you said, you look at him at your phone every every single day just to remind you, you know, what you've accomplished. And you know, Shanju,、yeah. if there's any links or social media profiles that we can connect with, would you be able to share it with us? Yes, ah,、uh, for my、uh, World Harmony Society, you can go on to worldharmonysociety.org, and there's another festival link. It's called Harmony Day Festival. Info. And also my Facebook page, I have a Shenzhou Lin for Morton, which I just standing for the federal election. Thanks so much, and to our listeners,、yeah. if you want to connect with Shenzhou, you can also head on over to the TaoSelfConfidence dot com and search for Shenzhou's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really just want to thank Shenzhou for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Shina, for having me in your program. Thank you. No problem. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self confidence. And we'll catch you later. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self Confidence. Get your free audio book by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence dot com. Your inner journey to self confidence awaits.